Greetings, back again here. And for this video, I thought I'd show you how to add audio and composite video out, as well as a reset switch on a Commodore 64. Now, this one here is a Model G, which was the last model of the C64 to be released. And if we take a look at the back here, we have an 8 pin DIN connector, and it says uh, video above it. And this is where we'll take the audio and video from. Now, if you have the cable that goes here, then the AV mod really isn't uh, necessary. But if you're like me and you don't have the cable, then uh, this could be a good alternative to using the RF out. Now, uh, some older models only have uh, a 5 pin connector, uh, so the pins will be a bit different on those. But uh, this one has the 8 pin, and if you have a Model C, which is this one over here, uh, that also has the 8 pin connector. Uh, so, what we'll need here are a couple of uh, RCA plugs, a momentary push button, and uh, soldering iron of course with some solder Philips had the screwdriver uh, pliers isolation tape maybe some uh, heat shrink drill and some wire well maybe not this much wire but anyway uh, the first thing we need to do here is to take the system apart so we flip this over and on the bottom here we have three screws one here, one here and one in the middle and the one in the middle here will probably have one of these uh, warranty seals covering it so you just uh, have to cut a hole there and then you can take the screw out and uh, I don't think there's any warranty left on these so that's nothing to worry about. Uh, but yeah, when you have uh, unscrewed the three screws, you can just uh, lift the top part up like this, and it will come off. Uh, when you go to take the top part off, you will notice that there are two sets of uh, wires going from the top part down to the motherboard and one is this here and uh, this is connected over here and this only fits one way so you can just unplug that and then you have these two wires going from the power LED and they go down underneath the shielding here and they just uh, take note of where and how uh, these are connected before you unplug them so that you can put them back correctly and uh, next you need to lift this uh, shielding and to do that we first have to uh, push it down here and uh, that is because this metal piece here is attached to this piece here so you push this down and then you can just lift the shielding up and uh, be careful with this because this is made out of very thin cardboard so it could easily be damaged so uh, next we need to take the motherboard out of the case and to do that we have a set of screws one over here one here here there are two screws over here but you only need to remove the right one and the same down here you have two screws but you only need to remove the bottom one then you have one here and finally one over here so I just left one screw in here just to keep the motherboard in place so just remove that and can lift the motherboard out so I'm just gonna 
put the case away and then we'll take a look at where to solder the wires. Alright, so we have the board out here, and uh, this is the 8-pin uh, DIN connector. So if we turn this over, we have uh, the pins for it here. So let's uh, take a closer look at these. So uh, these are the pins here, and this one here is pin 3, and this is for audio. And then this one here is pin 4, and this is for video. And then we can get ground from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, solder the wires. Alright, so I have the wires uh, soldered to the pins here. And uh, it's uh, blue for video, white for audio, and green for ground. So now I'm going to secure the uh, soldering points with some hot glue and then it's time to take a look at the reset switch alright so the glue is in place here and uh, now we can turn the board over again like so and uh, now we need to locate the user port and uh, that is this one over here on the far edge of the board uh, so let's uh, zoom in on this now the user port has uh, 24 contact surfaces or uh, pins there's uh, 12 on this side and then there's another 12 on the bottom here and the ones we need are the first and the third one and if you can see here it says 12 and over here it says 1 so this is the first one and this is uh, ground <coughs> and this is the third one and this is the reset and to make the system reset we need to short these two so what we need to do is we need to solder a wire to each of these and then those wires will go to our reset switch uh, now we could solder the wires directly to the uh, contact surfaces here but if we ever want to use the port uh, that could cause some trouble if you have wires soldered onto here so what we could do for the first pin uh, at least on this revision of the board you can see there's a small hole here and uh, that goes straight uh, through the board so we could have the wire going through this hole and we can just solder it on to here uh, kind of like on a uh, perf board and uh, uh, that works for the first pin because we have ground on both sides and then for the third pin uh, if we just follow the trace from it here you can see it goes to the leg of this capacitor here so we could just solder the second wire to this point here so I'm gonna go ahead and do that alright so the wires are in place here and I'm just gonna put some uh, hot glue on the soldering points and uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and drill the holes for the RCA jacks and the uh, reset button alright so I have drilled the holes in the bottom part of the case and uh, these over here are for the AV out and over here we have the hole for the reset button so I'm gonna uh, take the board and put it back in the case and then I'm gonna hook up all the wires alright so everything is hooked up now got the AV out over here and the reset button over here so now I just need to put the top part back on. Alright, so before I put this back on, uh, there's just one more thing I need to do. And as you can see here, there are these plastic tabs. And uh, these uh, hook on to the lower part of the case. And the one over here, which is a bit uh, broken off, 
this one is supposed to go at the same place where I've put the AV out. So I need to cut this off before I can put the uh, top part back on. So I'm gonna do that and then I will uh, assemble this and uh, test it. Alright, so I have the system put back together here and it's connected to the TV via the AV cable. So let's start this up. And uh, to test this, I'm going to load up this game here. Bubble Bubble. And I have it in the tape drive. So let's start this. Now this is going to take a while, so I'm just gonna skip ahead here. Or else this will be a 10 part video. So I'll be back when the game has finished uh, loading. Alright, shouldn't be too long now. And there we go. As you can see the picture is working fine and the sound is working fine. Let's see if we can start this up here. So yeah, everything is working, and if I press the reset button here now, if I can find it, there it is. The system resets. So, uh, that's all I had to show you this time. So bye for now, and I'll see you soon.